and for the headlines. Weather forecast. The heat index in Metro Manila is at an extreme caution level, with isolated rains expected across the Philippines due to Easter days. Local news. Metro Park and Rio Verde agree with the water cut-off order affecting COWD supply. Oka of Clarex on CDO's EO196 state of imagination. Pet owners should not allow the animals to roam freely to avoid legal issues, PRO 10. Representative Su Wan to Mayor Clarex, let's not ignore the city's water issue. National News A nurse who assisted a rider injured in a crash was shot in Taloocan. One more dead. Mount Binatak in Sablayan, Occidental Mindoro is currently ablaze. International News 36 people died in a highway collapse in China. Entertainment Bay Alonzo lodges cyber libel complaints against showbiz columnists and co-hosts. CN Lim confirmed his relationship with Iris Lee. Sports Balti, Tamayo, Kai, how did Ayo expresses his desire for Converge in the PBA draft? Echo Oil LaSalle aims to secure a spot in the semifinals of the Aspire Runs Cup. International feature Microsoft plans to invest $2.2 billion in cloud and AI services in Malaysia. National feature The Marvel Universe live show will have its developing debut in June. Trivia What is the process of star death? Good morning, Philippines. Maganda umaga, Luzon, of my Adla, Visayas, of Mindanao. Today is Tuesday, May 7, 2024. I am Athalia Pisanya. Weather forecast. The heat index in Metro Manila is at an extreme caution level, with isolated rains expected across the Philippines due to Easter elites. According to Pagasa, the heat index in Metro Manila is currently at the extreme caution level, with easterlies expected to persist, bringing cloudy skies and isolated rain across parts of the country on Friday. Metro Manila and other areas will see partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms due to easterlies and localized thunderstorms. Temperatures in Metro Manila are highly lower with a heat index at 41 degrees Celsius in Maia, Pasay City, and 40 degrees Celsius in the Science Garden, Quezon City. Precautions against heat-related illnesses are advised including limiting outdoor activities, staying hydrated, avoiding alcoholic and caffeinated drinks, wearing protective clothing, and scheduling strenuous activities during cooler times of the day. Wind speeds are expected to be light to moderate in northern and central Luzon, moving east to southeast, while the rest of the country will experience light to moderate winds from the east to northeast direction. Coastal waters are forecasted to be light to moderate across the country. Local News Metro Park and Rio Verde agree with the water cut-off order affecting COWD supply. The company Metro Pacific Water through Cagayan de Oro Bulk Water Incorporated and Rio Verde Corporation issued a water cut-off order to the Cagayan de Oro Water District in the city. This was clarified by Metro Park Water Senior Legal Counsel Attorney Roberto Rodrigo in a released letter which only bore on one signature authorizing the water cut-off due to COWD's failure to settle its dues. Rodrigo stated that there was consent from Rio Verde's management to temporarily halt water supply to COWD due to its failure to address a long-standing dispute amounting to over 479 million pesos. He noted discrepancies between the letter restrained by mainstream media and their copy. Roberto recounted the formal and signed issuance of the official document for the water cut-off order when they failed to convince COWD to settle its standing payables, despite intervention from the local water utilities 
administration earlier this year on April to 30th. Oka of clerics on CDO's EO196 state of imagination. Former City Mayor Oscar Moreno referred to the directive of City Mayor R Rolando Clarex Uy to elevate the water situation in the city to a heightened alert status as an imagined emergency. This came after Uy issued a state of emergency declaration which was also supported by the council following the water supply cut off by Cagayan de Oro Bulk Water Incorporated to Cagayan de Oro Water District. Moreno expressed Concerns that the fear instilled by the city hall among the people was unwarranted, as Kobig was simply collecting debts owed to the city water district. He said that the administration's actions only brought great embarrassment. Councillor Edgar Cabanlas also criticized Kobe's water cutoff, claiming it was heavily guarded by soldiers and police to prevent sabotage which was why the council supported OIS requested state of emergency declaration regarding the issue. Pet owners should not allow their animals to roam freely to avoid legal issues. The police reminded the public to be mindful of treating animals such as dogs responsibly. As emphasized by Police Major Joe Navarro, spokesperson of PRO 10 following the arrest of three men accused of brutally killing a street dog in Ligan City, which went viral after being captured on video and shared on social media. Navarro stated that the suspects are facing charges under the Animal Welfare Act of 1998. However, she also emphasized the importance of pet owners not allowing their animals to become a nuisance to the public. Representative Sue went to Mayor Clarex, let's not ignore the city's water issue. Kagan the Oro 1st District Congressman Lord and Suwan does not allow the people in the 1st District to merely suffer regarding the water issue in the city. This is why he also took steps to address the water problem. Suwan raised concerns regarding City Mayor Rolando Uy's involvement in the city's water issue. It is noted that Uy did not welcome Suwan's intervention as it posed a risk of the local water utilities administration taking over the management of the Cagayan de Oro Water District. We stated that the congressman should not meddle in such matters, as it is not within the congressman's jurisdiction. The mayor clarified that, the, that he also dis disagrees with placing COWD under LWA control because it would be difficult to prevent possible water rate increases in the future. We interviewed a student about the heat index, so let's watch this. Hi, ako may si Anokin Perio. Uh, ako may karoon sa lepas na heat index is dapat ang um, pamaksunan di dapat ang government o parliament o kada free planting food kay um, pagtanong na dito sa ano sa sa dahoy mo makasubal ng ano heat index. So um, Ah, uh, may mga mga nursing students is um dapat kwarto sa pumapag ng mga dapat tayo kay init kayo din at dapat tubig mas maayo dili pa magawas gawas kay bigay ato kung bigay na ba ang isyo so far sa amo school ba is kana o wala na may dibdib then wala gid na kay na pay pa na kay pa na ako ang previous course kay bigan sa STP Yes, I'm a sweet dog, pero kailan uh, ito kami sweet, pero passion din ako ang partners. Kasi kita ko ang
National News. A nurse who assisted a rider injured in a crash was shot in Galaocan, one more dead. Two men were killed after being shot by motorcycle rider in Barangay 173 in North Caloocan on Sunday night. According to Police Major Segundin Mabulan, Commander of Caloocan Police Substation 9, the victim Mark John Blanco, a nurse, was initially shot. Based on the initial police investigation, Blanco assisted the suspect after the motorcycle they were riding crashed while traversing Congressional Road. The motorcycle failed to start after Blanco helped the suspect stand it up, which angered the suspect. The suspect then shot the victim in the head and arm. Another victim and construction worker went out of the house to help upon hearing a woman shouting for help but was also shot in the chest by the suspect. The suspect quickly fled the scene but was apprehended by authorities after he collided with a vehicle. The recovered firearm was ballistic and matched the bullets found in the victim's bodies. The suspect, currently detained at Kaloakan Police Substation 9, claimed he did not intentionally shoot the victims and is seeking forgiveness even at the cost of his own life. The wife of the deceased nurse is deeply distraught, especially since their five children are now orphaned. The suspect will face double murder charges. Mount Binatnak in Sablayan, Occidental Mindoro is currently ablaze. A large portion of Mount Binatnak in Barangay Burgos, Sablayan, Occidental Mindoro is currently engulfed in flames. Sablayan BFP and Bureau of Corrections firefighters responded to extinguish the fire, but they are having difficulty reaching the area. According to Barangay Kagawan Antonio Bergonia, they noticed a small fire on the mountain at around 4 in the afternoon last Thursday. But by 6 in the evening, the fire suddenly grew and spread. Residents are concerned as the fire is near houses, a school, and a communications tower. The fire spread quickly due to the dry grass on the mountain. The cause of the fire is yet to be determined, and the Sublion BFP has not provided a statement. International news, 36 people died in a highway collapse in China. Following heavy rains in a mountainous region of southern China, a section of highway collapsed, causing cars to tumble down the slope and resulting in at least 36 fatalities, authorities reported. The incident occurred in Mizu City, with 23 vehicles discovered after a 17.9-meter segment of the highway gave way early Wednesday. 30 individuals sustained injuries, none deemed life-threatening. The rescue operation was hindered by rain, falling gravel and soil, compli complicating efforts to locate survivors. Despite challenges, search teams utilized dogs, life-detecting devices, excavators, and cranes to assist in the operation. Despite challenges, search Teams utilize dogs, life detecting devices, excavators, and cranes to assist in the operation. The collapse occurred amid heightened rainfall in the county, contributing to flooding and landslides. China's infrastructure expansion has faced scrutiny for design flaws and construction deficiencies, highlighting ongoing safety concerns. Entertainment. Bay Alonzo lodges cyber libel complaints against showbiz columnists and co-hosts. On Thursday, actress Bay Alonzo visited the office of the city prosecutor of Quezon City to lodge a cyber libel complaint against veteran showbiz columnists and co-hosts of their online shows. One of the respondents in, is a social media user accused of posting defamatory remarks against Alonzo. Alonzo's lawyer, attorney Joey V. Garcia, stated that these are three separate criminal cases with three respondents per case. Garcia mentioned that Alonzo decided to take legal action due to the damaging statements made against her.
This marks the first time in Alonzo's over two decades in the industry that she has pursued such action. Alonzo's camp hopes for a swift resolution and they expect the respondents to be summoned by the office of the city prosecutor. However, Garcia did not disclose the names of the respondents. He also reminded social media personalities to exercise caution as defamatory statements and personal attacks are legally actionable. As of now, the respondents in the case have not issued any statements. Sian Lim confirmed his relationship with Iris Lee. Actor director Sian Lim confirmed his relationship with Viva Films producer Iris Lee in an exclusive interview with Eskir last Thursday. Yes, I'm seeing Iris, he said. Just to clear everything, to clear all the speculations. We are seeing each other and we are very happy. Liam clarified that he is ready to address the rumors surrounding his controversial breakup with the Pamilya actress host Kim Chu. The two confirmed the end of their 12-year relationship on December 23, 2023 and shared messages of gratitude and sweetness on social media. Liam emphasized that Lee is not a third party in their relationship and that they only started dating after his relationship with Chu ended. He vehemently denied rumors of a secret marriage or living together. Lim stated that, the, that he only lives with his family, dismissing accusations as absurd. He expressed sadness over people being dragged into the issue and defended Lee, stating that she doesn't deserve the criticism. Netizens have been speculating about their relationship after they were spotted together on several occasions. Last February, their seemingly affectionate post in a photo uploaded by Watanabe Riding Development sparked discussions. In the picture, Lim had his arm around Lee while she held his hand. Sports Balti, Tamayo, Kai, Aldin Ayo expresses his desire for converge in the PBA draft. The Converge 5 or 6 wrapped up the 2024 PBA Philippine Cup on a positive note, securing a win against the TNT Tropang Giga at the Field Sports Arena in Pasig. Despite the victory, they ended up as the bottom-ranked team in the conference, as they did in the league's first conference of the 48th season. This positioning puts them in a favorable spot, to secure the top pick in the upcoming PBA Rookie Draft. Coach Aldin Ayo emphasized the importance of player development and expressed confidence in their young core, led by players like Aljun Meleko and Justin Arana. Ayo highlighted their need for a big man in the draft and mentioned potential prospects like Kai Soto and Carl Tamayo. Additionally, he hinted at the possibility of former La Salle sad out Kevin Kiambao joining the roster for the UAEP season while keeping the door open for other prospects like Justin Baltazar. Echo Oil La Salle aims to secure a spot in the semifinals of the Aspirants Cup. Defending champions Echo Oil La Salle aim to secure a direct path to the semifinals in the 2024 PBA D League Aspirants Cup as they face winless Kinza basketball at the Inares Sports Arena in Pasig on Thursday. With a current record of 3-0, the Green Archers seek to maintain their unbeaten streak in the tournament. Meanwhile, Central Escolar U, fresh from a breakthrough victory against Kinzel, confronts Go Toraku's St. Clair in hopes of securing another win to bolster their position in the standings. Despite Kinzel Basketball's winless status, Lasa assistant coach Kaloy Garcia emphasizes the importance of preparation and avoiding complacency in every game. On the other hand, CEU coach Jeff Perlas expresses confidence in his team's ability to perform well and remain focused on both offense and defense. As the only winless teams in the league, go to Raku, St. Clair, and Kinzel face the challenge of turning their fortunes around. In 
international feature. Microsoft plans to invest $2.2 billion in cloud and AI services in Malaysia. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella announced a $2.2 billion investment in Malaysia's cloud and AI infrastructure, the largest single commitment to country reflecting Microsoft's dedication to advancing AI development globally. Nadella stressed Microsoft's commitment to supporting Malaysia's AI transformation, promoting in inclusive economic growth, and drive the innovation through digital infrastructure and skilling initiatives. Additionally, Microsoft will invest $1.7 billion in cloud and AI services in Indonesia and build its first regional data center in Thailand. Microsoft pledged to provide AI training for 2.5 million individuals across Southeast Asia by 2025. Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim welcomed the investment, emphasizing its role in enhancing Malaysia's AI capacity and supporting government initiatives. The investment includes AI training for an additional 300,000 individuals, establishing a national AI center of excellence, enhancing cybersecurity capabilities, and fostering Malaysia's developer community. Microsoft sees Southeast Asia as a promising market for AI product development, potentially contributing nearly $1 trillion to the region's GDP by 2030. This investment aligns with Microsoft's 2021 program to support inclusive economic growth and digital empowerment in Malaysia, with Trade Minister Zaf Zafrul Aziz optimistic about the opportunities for small and medium-sized enterprises and job growth. National Feature the Marvel Universe live show will have its Philippine debut in June. The debut of the Marvel Universe live show in the Philippines co coincides with Father's Day this June, offering a special treat for Filipino families at the SM Mall of Asia Arena from June 7 to 16. Produced by Fell Entertainment, known for delivering captivating live touring family entertainment experiences, the event promises to enchant audiences of all ages with its performances and beloved Marvel characters. Arnold Gonzalez, SM's general manager and business unit head, expressed the team's anticipation for the long-awaited event, which had been planned since before the pandemic. Highlighting the Philippines' enthusiastic response to the show, Matthew Garrick, senior director of APAC at Feld Entertainment, emphasized the country's warm hospitality and, and the excitement surrounding the tour stop in the Philippines. Attendees can look forward to an exhilarating experience as they witness their favorite superheroes in action, battling villains to save the world amidst immersive video projections and special effects. Trivia, what is the process of Stardust? The fate of stars, whether they become black holes, neutron stars, or red dwarfs, is determined by their mass. Massive stars burn through their hydrogen fuel rapidly, leading to the fusion of heavier elements like helium and carbon. When these stars run out of fuel, they collapse, causing their outer layers to explode in a phenomenon known as a supernova. Following a supernova, what remains is either a neutron star the collapsed core of the star or in cases of sufficient mass or in cases of sufficient mass a black hole stars of average size up to about 1.4 times the mass of the sun undergo a less dramatic process as they deplete their hydrogen they expand into red giants fusing helium in the in their cores and eventually shed their outer layers often forming a planetary nebula. The core of the star then cools down over billions of years, becoming a white dwarf. The smallest stars, referred to as red dwarfs, burn their nuclear fuel at such a slow rate that they can potentially live for up to 100 billion years, 
significantly longer than the current age of the universe. And that's the information we got from here and abroad. Keep listening and watching. Please subscribe, follow, like, and share Pinay Rob on YouTube channel. And thank you very much for watching Pinay Rob News channel today on the Oro. I request another to support and subscribe and turn on notifications for more updates and more info. Again, thank you very much and have a wonderful day.